Welcome everyone, this is Jason from OBDX Pro and today we'll be going through a demonstration of IPC Hammer using an OBDX Pro VT cable. Uh, this video was actually taken by my colleague Pete as he had a compatible cluster on the bench that he could connect up to and basically he was just going through all the various options and forms available in the application. Uh, so, so far we've had a look and read some properties and then looked at the configuration options to select in the cluster and now he's moving on to actually writing calibrations into that instrument cluster. Uh, do note that this video has been heavily sped up, uh, so it will take longer when uh, performing this, uh, but the purpose of this video is just to get a feel for the various options you can select and what to expect when using it. Uh, the purpose of using IPC Hammer is so that you can reprogram a replacement cluster, uh, change various options and make a a perfect clone or just a plug and play replacement into um, a car that has a failed cluster. So things like changing the uh, stepper motors, so if you replace the stepper motor so that it's accurate, uh, testing that the lights and gauges are working, uh, even setting the correct uh, calibration operating system which we can see is being done right now, uh, which usually takes quite some minutes to complete but again being sped up it's being done quite quickly. Uh, finally, I think one of the last things he does here is now doing the mileage and hours so that it's matched to the vehicle that it would be going into. Otherwise, that's a full tutorial of using IPC Hammer. Any questions, please feel free to comment below. Otherwise, we'll see you next time.